Why have... Why is there a lock? That's so the understairs bedroom. To, and obviously that's to keep the bad children in there. I'm, I'll leave that to anyone's imagination of what went in there. All right, Conrad, here's the rundown on this property. You should be slightly relieved since this one isn't nearly as in bad of a shape as the last one. I really like this one since it can be a really quick flip with a lot less rehab required. It's a three bedroom, two bath colonial with an interior square footage of just over 1200 square feet. So yes, it's small, but we wouldn't have to rearrange the floor plan at all, which is a major plus. A few potential obstacles. The front and rear decks do not have COs and neither does the garage. So we'd have to get them permitted. Let's go take a look. Conrad, today we have a very special guest. I brought my assistant, okay. Natalie, here. She's gonna tell us exactly where we are and where we're, what we're gonna look at. Go for it. Let's Natalie? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing! Woo! Well done! So Natalie, tell Conway, where are we? We're 77 Nassau Street. That's amazing. where we are! Excellent! Come on. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Alright, so now that Natalie introduced the property to us, let's go take a look. Come on. It's not as bad as what I was expecting. Really? Compared to the last ones. I mean, it's a little bit broken. Alright, after you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, it, um, it needs, it just, just needs a little lipstick. It needs a little lipstick. That's what it needs. Do you know what it reminds me of? Shameless. You know what it's of Shameless? Yes. The kind of American family. I feel like I just walked into their house. Yeah? Shameless. Yeah. You ever seen Shameless? I have, but normally I sort of like, you know, drug houses in Shameless. Well, we're gonna spruce it up. Yeah. We're gonna spruce it up. Let's go take a look at the, the uh, kitchen area for okay. a At least we got a fridge. Yeah, we're kind of listening to this fridge. Oh, uh, rule number one, never open up the fridge. <laughs> Why? I'm not gonna it? Yeah. <laughs> take a whiff of that, I'm sure. Oh, that's not that bad. I was expecting like a dead rat. There's nothing in it. Oh, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> okay. I'm it's impressed. Actually, it looks pretty good condition. Hey, we should keep this. There we go. <laughs> I just take the stickers off. Yeah. Perfect. All right. One less appliance we have to worry oh, about. Don't try. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. So it's we have a a bathroom. At least all the plumbing is here. Oh my god! What the heck is that in there? Why is it red? <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is not. Honestly, it's not that bad. What is that? I've never seen one like that before. It's vintage. That's what it's called. It's actually an old piece of shit. Jesus. So in here, really, yeah. floors. The toilet, it actually looks pretty new. We just have to put the top back on it. A vanity, scrape the uh, the ceiling off. Yeah, you put new, off radi yeah. new heating we... covers. I mean, honestly, you could spend maybe 2,500 in here and call it a day. Yeah. This is not a terribly expensive kitchen. Yeah. You can Definitely probably spend there, yeah. maybe eight to 10 tops in the kitchen here. And yeah. Between the bathroom, we we're at probably 12,000. Really, the layout on this first floor, we just have yeah. to utilize it. The only thing I would, would say is this, this is just a waste of space. Other than the entrance closet here, we could open this up and make it yeah. a larger entrance. You can make it, it, it makes it a grander entrance right. to the property. Yeah. Um, other than that, it's floors. Keep the radiant heat, some paint, mm -hmm. change the light fixture. Yeah. Um, well, windows, I mean, other than the screens, the windows seem pretty decent down here. They did fine, yeah. So, not a large major expense on the first floor here. Why if, why, why is there a lock? That's so the that's understairs bedroom. To, and obviously that's to keep the bad children in there. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll leave that to anyone's imagination of what went in there. So here, so this is the master bedroom. So the, the house itself is only 1,200 square feet yeah. in its entirety. It's three bedroom, two bath. Um, you know, so it's not a overly large house. Okay. Okay. Uh, which isn't a bad thing. Now, the good thing about this is that there is a bathroom upstairs. Yeah. Uh, 
Now, yeah, so... I mean, really? <laughs> There's a f***ing sink there. Why would you... So now, unfortunately, the other two bedrooms are very minuscule. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is... And we have some really priceless artwork here on the wall. We have to say definitely this. added the value. We have to say this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. Don't give your kid crayons. All right, so we have uh, at least one broken window. There's I think there was one another the one room. in the other room. So you, you got to imagine 300 for each broken window. Or do you replace the whole window or do you just replace the glass? Yeah, you might as well just replace the entire window. Why does that? Okay. Well, All right, let's go take a look at the outside. <sighs> the roof has two layers on it. It's going to need a new liquor paint in the front. Yeah, I mean the siding is actually in decent condition. Yeah. The flashing looks good. God. So not the tree. Can you get rid of that easily? Yes. Uh, tree removal here is not cheap. Isn't it? It's not cheap. I got a tree guy. Oh, okay. On the front lawn. Lawn. Yeah, that comes with the property. Oh, does it? Okay, brilliant. Do I have to pay extra or not? Right. All right. So. Oh, f off. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you want to do the honors? Oh, I feel like I'm in a movie. I've never been in one of these before. Yeah, you ever saw a hostel before? Here you go. <laughs> oh, oh. I feel like something might jump out at me. It's like a horror movie. I don't watch horror <laughs> movies, but I feel like something is going to about to jump out at me. Uh, oh, Get back into it. Oh, so they put the handle on the wrong side. Okay, right. So, see that door? Okay, there's yeah. a door to hell. Okay, cool. So go ahead, after you. Brilliant, cheers mate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you might want a flashlight. Um, I've got a flashlight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My oh, God. that is one wondrous smell of oil down here. That is rough. My God, look at that electric. Look at that. Bloody hell. I'll give you 10 bucks to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm not gonna lie. This reminds me, why Why would you put a, a shower curtain? Movie? This, you know when you like, oh, when I'm in like the UK and whatever, I see like a TV show of like someone and the guy, a guy kept his like kid in the basement for like 15 years. Oh yeah. That's where they've been. Oh yeah. This is where they've been. Okay. All right. I think I've seen enough. Oh yeah, so have I. So have I. Why a shower? Uh, Why would you put a shower down here? Uh, I. Uh, I didn't do it. Oh god. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie, right? What is this? What? Did they just drill this one and go, oh fuck it, I put it in the wrong place? <laughs> Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh, it's open. <laughs> Just as I expected, an empty garage. Looks like a random trench. That's a bit weird, you know what? It's a little creepy. Why would you just dig a trench in your garden? Well, at least it's nice and flat. <laughs> sort enough. of, other than the ditch. <laughs> Oh, it's a pretty f***ing ugly house from the back. It is. It's not aesthetically appealing at all. No. No, it's not. In your terms, it's a proper <laughs> hole. <laughs> I love it. I can see I potential. It. I can see potential. No, their potential is there. Yeah. At the right price. Yes. Now, how much is it? They're asking 259000 Okay. And what potentially could I put in could I ask, you know, put the offer in for? Um, less than that. <laughs> less than okay. that. Now, now what could, what's the resale value? On resale everything? value on something like this in this neighborhood, anywhere from 350 to 370 tops. Okay, so if we would have put an offer in, I don't know, maybe we could hit them at 230. You know, you I know. think we're overstretching a little bit. Really? Um, I estimate this would probably cost around 65000 to do, all of soup to nuts. 
So with soft costs and everything, we're probably stretching. I wouldn't go higher than 220. Okay. So then there's like, there's 50 grand in it. Right. But in this this price point, 50,000, it's a good return. Yeah, it's a good return. On a, what would you say, a five month flip? Or slower? This shouldn't take more than 45 days tops. 45 days? Yeah. Okay. To do the rehab. Okay. During that time period, we can market to somebody, entry okay. level family. Yeah. Um, and then if we close in two months, we're looking at a soup to nuts, really like a four month project. Okay. Oh, brilliant. That's pretty good. So the numbers work at that at that price point. At that they do, yeah. You know, four months, you know, 50 grand. That's pretty good. It's not bad. No, that's all right. That's all right. Oh yeah, all right. We'll have to have a think, I guess. Yeah. Right. All right. Should we have a look at the next one? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So, the Ipslip house. Thoughts on it? I like it. I love the neighborhood. The neighbors are amazing. The little girl is so cute. The house doesn't need much work. It's kind of a simple gut and chuck. There's a little bit of a profit margin in it. So I guess we kind of kind of see. I need to keep looking for more properties. If you know of any properties, any states, they do not have to have a toilet, plumbing, anything. The worse, the better, no matter what the situation. Guys, if you can get in contact, uh, either send me a direct message message or leave a link in the comment below and we'll get in contact as well if you're enjoying these videos guys if you can hit that subscribe button it'd be much appreciated i want to hear your feedback as well let me know in the comments until next week same time again on a tuesday afternoon five o'clock we upload these videos we take a lot of time in it so guys i really appreciate you watching i really hope you're enjoying them until next week I'll see you then. Hey guys, uh, so just a quick message. I'm gonna be doing more of an interview uh, episode in the next coming weeks. And I'm wondering if you've got any questions. It can be about below deck, it can be about yachting, it can be about my life, it can be anything you want it to be. If you've got a question and you're, you know, wondering, drop me a message on Instagram and um, I'll see if I can get them answered for you. Until next week, I will see you soon.